Aja Romano writes about pop culture, media, and ethics. Before joining Vox in 2016, they were a staff reporter at The Daily Dot, a 2019 fellow of the National Critics Institute. They're considered an authority on fandom, the internet, and the culture wars. In 2012, Rolling Stone published a list of the 10 K-pop bands most likely to make it big in the U.S. Achieving significant U.S. fame was a newly attainable, if still distant, milestone for South Korean pop groups thanks to the 2000s tremendous exporting of South Korean culture overseas, a trend known as Hallyu, the Korean wave. Rolling Stone's list, which appeared two months before Psy's Gangnam Style, included groups like Big Bang, Girls' Generation, and 2NE1, the greatest bands of what's generally thought of as the second generation of pop groups to emerge during K-pop's rise to international prominence. It didn't, however, include a group of teenage boys, then recently assembled through a studio audition process, who were being meticulously polished and prepped for their debut. On December 22, 2012, the group released a number of SoundCloud clips featuring its seven members rapping in Korean and English, including a rap cover of Wham's Last Christmas. It was hardly the stuff of attention-getting Korean hip-hop, but the band in question, Bangtan Boys, later officially known as BTS, would go on to completely transform the image of all-male boy bands in South Korean music and shatter conceptions of what breakout success looked like for South Korean bands overseas. BTS's rise to prominence has been so immense over the last few years that the band's latest single, Butter, their first since a trio of groundbreaking, historic number one singles in fall 2020, is a major event. BTS made headlines in 2020 with the hit single, Dynamite, which became the first K-pop song in history to debut at number one on the US Billboard Hot 100 chart. Having already racked up more than 60 million YouTube views in its first 12 hours online, Butter already seems positioned to be an even bigger hit for the band. These US chart toppers are huge accomplishments for BTS. The band has spent years building to this point, slowly conquering the American music scene with one milestone after another. Since 2018, when they became the first South Korean band in history, to debut an album at number one on the U.S. Billboard chart, they've collaborated with major artists like The Chainsmokers, Steve Aoki, Nicki Minaj, Ed Sheeran, and Halsey. They've performed everywhere from Good Morning America to Saturday Night Live, from Times Square's New Year's Eve concerts to Grand Central Terminal. In 2020, BTS garnered a Grammy nomination for Best Pop Duo Group Performance. They've even snagged a couple of Guinness World Records for their incredibly engaged fan base. So why was BTS the band that finally broke through the culture barrier overseas to make significant waves in the US? The answer lies in a combination of factors, and most of them are about change. The changing nature of K-pop studio culture and the way idols are produced. Changing depictions of masculinity in South Korea. Changing ranges of acceptable expression in K-pop. And above all, the approach BTS has taken to building its fan base and interacting with its fans. But to understand all this change, we have to back up a few years to understand how K-pop became the regimented industry it is today and how BTS subverts that regimen. BTS is the product of an industry insider who wanted to create a new kind of idol. K-pop began on April 11, 1992, when a hip-hop trio called Seo Taiji and Boys performed in a talent show on a national South Korean network. Seo Taiji and Boys were innovators who challenged norms around musical styles, song topics, fashion, and censorship, which was unprecedented for a culture whose musical production had spent the past few decades subjected to strict government oversight. But it wouldn't last. In the 90s, three powerhouse music studios began cultivating what would become known as idol groups, assembled through a journey of evolution and authenticity. The landscape of the Korean music industry has undergone a profound transformation, with idol groups emerging as its dominant force. However, amidst their widespread popularity, there lurks a dark underbelly, characterized by toxic and abusive elements inherent in the idol lifestyle. Recognizing these issues, the Korean government has taken decisive steps to eradicate the structural exploitation that has long plagued the studio culture. In the early 2010s, 
As the formation of BTS marked a turning point, the prevailing ethos within most studios was one of rigid control and conformity. This regimented approach stifled personal expression and relegated socially conscious music, reminiscent of Seo Taiji's pioneering work, to the sidelines. The contractual constraints imposed on idols left little room for them to authentically express themselves, further exacerbating the disconnect between artists and their audience. Amidst this stifling environment, a visionary named Bang Si Hyuk quietly embarked on a mission to challenge the status quo. As a seasoned songwriter and music producer, Bang, affectionately known as the Hitman, had already left an indelible mark on the industry with a string of chart-topping hits. However, his tenure at JYP Studio left him grappling with his own insecurities and a longing for genuine artistic expression. In 2005, Bang made the audacious decision to break free from the confines of the established order and founded his own venture, Big Hit Entertainment. Here, he envisioned a studio culture that prioritized authenticity and creativity above all else. Bang's admiration for artists who fearlessly bared their souls through their music laid the foundation for what would become BTS's defining ethos. The essence of BTS was born from Bang's desire to create a platform where artists could confront their creative anxieties head-on and channel their innermost thoughts and emotions into their music. This unwavering commitment to authenticity would prove to be the driving force behind BTS's meteoric rise to global acclaim, setting them apart as pioneers of a new era in K-pop. Through their unapologetic honesty and fearless vulnerability, BTS has shattered stereotypes and redefined the boundaries of what it means to be an idol. Their journey serves as a beacon of hope for a new generation of artists, inspiring them to embrace their true selves and use their voices to spark meaningful change in the world. In 2010, a pivotal moment unfolded as Bang embarked on a quest to curate a teenage ensemble envisioned as the Bulletproof Boy Scouts. This initial concept evolved over time, eventually crystallizing into what we now know as BTS. Yet the essence of their success lay embedded within the original moniker, Bang's choice of bulletproof was deliberate, serving as an ode to the resilience and fortitude of the young members, who demonstrated an unwavering ability to withstand the relentless pressures of the world. However, Bang's vision extended beyond mere resilience. He aspired for BTS to embody sincerity and authenticity. Unlike the meticulously groomed idols manufactured within the confines of studio culture, Bang envisaged BTS as real boys, unapologetically showcasing their genuine personalities and talents to the world. This emphasis on genuineness laid the groundwork for BTS's distinctive identity and would ultimately become their defining trait. As BTS transcended their origins and ascended to global stardom, the essence of their name remained a steadfast reminder of their core values. With each milestone achieved and every barrier broken, BTS continued to uphold the spirit of resilience, authenticity, and unwavering sincerity that defined their journey from the outset. In a world where authenticity is often sacrificed for the sake of image, BTS stands as a beacon of hope, inspiring millions to embrace their true selves and face the world with unyielding courage and integrity.